I am currently a level 35 with 10,000 score. So that brings a lot of questions to me on how I am increasing my score so fast. How am I working on the leaderboard so much? To be honest with you, I have no life and I really don't go outside. Like I need to touch grass, green grass. I'm the only person in the game right now who has over 50 hours achievement. I have an achievement for 50 hours played. So I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips, tricks, secrets on how as a free to play player, you can still make on the top leaderboards, the top of the rankings and just compete with other players, especially um, you know, our little friendly pay to wins. <laughs> So what we are paying attention to is this giant S right next to our character with the rating 10,501. This is our rating. This is our score, how powerful we will be, and how we will perform in game. If you somehow don't know how to get to this menu, what you need to do is look at the top left, that number up there, you click on it, that brings you to your profile. So on the right, we're going to start over here. What we are going to do is click on the second option. This is going to bring that rundown of our character for their rating, equipment basics, equipment enhancement, and so on. The S, S, B, C, C, you can scroll down and see more. All of these will be combined into your rating. If you would like to improve in a certain area, you can click the improve button and it should take you over. When I did it, this one didn't take me over. So I went into my drop down menu and clicked equipment. This is where I will be leveling up my guns. Every single one will have a description on what they do and what stats they have and what enhance will do to those stats, how the stats will increase. What you need to upgrade and enhance is alloy reinforcement. Do not hold these. I know a lot of people who are keeping these and saving these. You can get them through your dailies, your dungeons, your missions, all of the above. A lot of things in the game give these and people just hold on to them for no exact reason i have everything maxed out as a free to play except for my biotic weapon which just came out today your second equipment menu is going to be your accessories these are some of the most important upgrades in the game upgrade your accessories you just click on it click upgrade and then if you have your prior materials upgrade them do not hold on to these you need to use them the most important one is the barrel you always do that one first because that is your damage but all of them are important and you need to keep them all up to max level my accessories are already falling behind a little bit i am at level four and i've already ran out of accessory blueprints another way to get them besides doing all your missions is through coupons which are pretty expensive but they are worth it looking out of our firearm we come down to our heavy weapon which also has accessories on it it has four different accessories and to me i didn't upgrade them as much because i am using the biotic rifle which is for healing is very great for pvp and that's why i grabbed it but i also do a lot of pve so i still upgraded it and i made another secondary weapon which is the grenade launcher but i did upgrade it a little bit and then so down here we have our armors and our armors have their own plates these each armor has three plates that you can put onto it and then each plate you can upgrade i see a lot of people putting one plate or two plates and then upgrading only those two and not filling all the slots you get rating when you fill every single slot and you have every single armor on every single equipment upgraded to a certain level you see right here it says next level install 15 armor in certs of five that means level five or higher so progress is zero out of 15 that means i need to get 15 of these up to level five the next menu is polishing and this is very simple it just shows you everything base damage right here plus one percent and these are actually very costly and it's really hard to get these up but the max level right now for me at least is level six and i have my gun at that but you also just as the armor you want all of these to be at a same level preferably the max level but you want them all at the same level so you can get that bonus have it five out of six and i didn't get that bonus so you want to get that bonus and make sure you click on it to see your next menu will be the modifier this here you will be modifying all your gears right here you have your weapons your armor and you can equip any stats when you modify but it is all based off of luck and rng so whatever best stats you get you will want to equip and the better stats will give you better score and then you hit modify and it'll roll you random stats the final section is special skill these give you effects you install the chips and you need 50 chips of each to combine into one to make that effect effect onto your gear and then you can install it in and that effect will take in these are very hard to get a lot of people start selling these in the trade market but i personally keeping it to collect it because eventually you will need it that will be the make or break between a pay to win because pay to wins can easily get these and craft them together so keep these guys make sure you hoard those and actually collect them together and then use them in the future. Now we will be moving on from our equipment and we'll be looking at the drone. So drones are something that you can deploy in combat or just when you're roaming around and there's different abilities that they can have depending on the chip that you craft. And along with that, with everything that you craft, depending on the color you get, you will get higher rating. Lastly, we're gonna be looking at the character talents and the camp training. So here you have your throwables first. All the descriptions are here. You can see that there's decoy bomb, molotov, hand grenade, smoke grenade, rosa grenade, and then a homing grenade. 
so these are all the ones that i have unlocked and then there's more underneath that you can look at the descriptions if you want to when you get to here and then after this we have the next section which is device at the top middle and to start it off we have a simple mine which is pretty decent to start off and healing and a auto turret auto turret's really good for pve pvp too but i like to prefer uh, healing in pvp um underneath this are a couple more things uh, you can look at them too if you want i'll make future videos on these when they come out and then here lastly we have our passives and all these stats are pretty decent they're all important but i personally upgrade the ones that give me strength stats um, a couple of them give you melee uh melee right now is not really useful so i haven't leveled up the melee much but it looks like it will be useful down the line when it comes down to a skill where you could get energy back but that's in the future and i'll make an update video on that when those skills come out now coming down to the second option which is the camp training you will get these camp metal points only through camp events anything that is related to camp you will get these points and that is the only way that you can get them and all these are important to upgrade you need this especially the baron's hunter the baron's hunter gives you so much damage durable armor bulletproof sturdy defense these are all going to make you tanky these are very important and then you have other things that relate to like melee or bleeding and then below you have more skills that can be unlocked but I haven't unlocked them yet. I haven't tried them out. I've been focusing on anything above. And down here, when they do come out, I will make an update video regarding them. What is the best to upgrade? Which ones you guys should start off with? And so on. Going back to the profile, if you click on titles, you can see that there are a lot of different titles in a game. A lot of people don't know that the titles are actually very important. They give you some score. They give you stats. And you can have multiple titles on as in appearance and boosting. One is for your stats and one is for appearance. So I have Assistant Shep equipped as an appearance that appears on my profile when i run around but tide turner is my secret stats that i have the stats equipped so i get eight damage and 10 skill strength so now i'm going to show you guys the good old secret that not a lot of people have noticed or figured out yet i know a lot of you free to plays haven't done this because you guys don't spend but click on the store on top if you go down to gold and then you click on it and you look i have sold out on the left talent points what is talent points well i showed you guys that earlier those are for your skills you need those you can buy them with gold that'll be ten thousand gold every week that you need to spend on that box you'll get about five thousand because it's 500 each so you'll get five thousand total skill points extra and then that will help you get ahead of the game and keep up with the pay to win there's so many more tips tricks secrets and stuff that i have that i want to share with you guys so today that'll be it but i'm working on more videos and a lot of content coming i'm also working on getting the full expert map for you guys to get out as a video so I can show you guys where you need to explore everywhere and I'll walk it step by step with you guys so if you guys would like and subscribe for that it's coming very soon hope you have an amazing day I love you guys and thank you so much